What are the differences between the second company of the GPU, like Sapphire for example, and which one should I get? By second company, I'm guessing you mean that the first company is AMD or Nvidia, and then the second company is like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Sapphire, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's take for example an NVIDIA RTX 4080 from Asus, MSI or Gigabyte. All of them are 4080s but they are not created equal. First of all, this is not a GPU, this is. And it goes onto a PCB with power delivery, VRAM, power connectors, bunch of other shit and this form a graphics card. And on top of this graphics card goes a cooler which is what you see. Still keeping the 4080 as example. For the Asus one, Asus designed the PCB. You know what a PCB is, right? It's this stuff. They chose what power delivery to put on it they chose where to put the stuff and finally they configured the bios for it they chose how high the card is going to boost what power limit is going to have that's why an asus strix card is going to boost higher than an asus prime card or an msi ventus card for example these things the pcbs are going to be different from asus to msi to sapphire because each one of them designs their own now does the higher boost higher power limit all the fancy shit that comes in an asus strix card is going to matter to you if you instead decided to just buy an msi ventus which which is the default spec. No. Yes, the higher boost is going to give you a little bit of more performance. It's going to overclock higher, all this stuff. But this is nothing that you would notice if you didn't have that stupid MSI afterburner overlay. So, my recommendation is to not worry about boosts and stuff, unless that's, unless you want to. If you want the fancy shit, get the fancy shit. You're going to pay more, whatever. I've done it. <laughs> My recommendation is to look at the reviews to see which cooler performs the same because a cooler card is going to be better. So you're going to look at a bunch of 4080s, look at the ones that runs cooler and then look at the price, see which one you should buy. Actually, I should make this example with a 5080 or 9070 XT. This applies to all of them, okay? And finally, just buy the one you think looks cool. Holy shit, no one cares. That's what I do. I buy the Strix because I think it looks cool. Sure, it comes with fancy shit, whatever. Just buy one you think looks cool. As long as it doesn't have a bad cooler.